Uh, well, it means the world to us. I mean, first of all, it's a gathering place of everybody in the industry. The energy here is fantastic. We get a chance to see so many wonderful current customers, talk about new opportunities, and of course, meeting new people. We really want to meet new people and be able to explore with them how SwissQ Print can be an enabler to help them grow. So this year we brought two printers. We brought two uh, flatbeds, uh, our newest edition, the Kudu, which is our largest, fastest device. It's both traditional flatbed and also roll to roll, dual roll, 10 ink channels. So very flexible, very fast at over 3,300 square feet per hour. And then we have, of course, our flagship Niala printer, which has been the European champion for, I don't know, eight, 10, who knows how many years. Uh, but it's our, our most popular machine. Uh, also running roll to roll. So our goal today and over the next couple days is to showcase not only how SwissQ Print can do amazing, beautiful specialty work, but also high volume production. One of the keys is the build quality. The build quality is exceptional. And when we're delivering devices for printers, we want this to be a, a, a long-term investment choice. So we have over 300 machines, Morton, that are over 10 years old wow. and we still support them. So when somebody's buying SwissQ print, they're really looking at a 10 to 15 year life cycle horizon. So that changes your return on investment uh, perspective a little bit, but it's versatility, versatility, versatility. And then I would add to that operator efficiency. If an operator loves to run the device, it will always be a productive device. Well, uh, there's a, a lot of variables in that, okay. of course. Yeah. Uh, we think most people come back and tell us that they're having a payback within three years. Wow. Uh, it, it, that changes, right? Yeah. It depends on the, the customer time to time. But we'll work with all of them to come up with a return on investment model so they feel comfortable before they go into a purchase. It's still a growing market, and I, I think you're right, last year, and even until and through the summer, we felt there's a hesitancy based on some of the strange headwinds. You mentioned wars, there's interest rates, there's political questions, all of these things are, are true. But we're starting to see people realize that, that there's also stability. Print volumes are pretty good for most printers. Many of them have delayed decision making and now realizing it's time to move forward. And the companies that are progressive and growing are the ones that are still moving forward despite some of the challenging headwinds. Relationship is really important. I do believe very firmly that printers want to partner with OEMs who truly care about their business and are curious about their business. Curiosity allows some amazing things to happen, right? Just genuinely be interested. Uh, but productivity, so speed is very important. Efficiency is very important. Reliability is very important. Speed by itself is nothing. I can have a very fast machine, but if it's only running at 60% uptime or whatever, it doesn't really, it, it doesn't work, really right? work. Yeah. So th that, that combination of speed and reliability and efficiency is important. And we're also seeing sustainability becoming still a growing area of concern and focus for a lot of printers, be it on the manufacturing side, uh, but inks, substrates, etc. So we need to bring a full package to our customers. Quality has to be there, precision has to be there. One of the things that allows our versatility is there is so much uh, precision built into these devices. I mean, yeah. it's part of the Swissness, yeah. if you will, of SwissQ print, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that inherent quality. And that quality uh, is going to give the best opportunity to sell at high value. And I think printers who can sell it and maintain higher price points can do that by bringing new unique things to, to market. And we believe we can enable that as well or better than most. The, the neons are fascinating, yeah. not so much because of the fluorescence yeah. of the neons, but beautiful. the extended color gamut. Yeah. So we're seeing- Oh, so you can um, make some basic things. You can make some basic things. Your range of pastels. Uh, we have now introduced uh, color swatch books that will show designers what you can do with neon pink instead of magenta, for instance. 
It gives you some beautiful range capability. Also, yeah, I, I and then texture. Skin colors should be really nice. Skin to colors, have um, texture print, of course, is amazing. So we're seeing a lot in interior design. See, I said you know, gold because from wood, this angle, it looked like yeah, gold. It's, it's, but then you see, it's more like it, a it, pastel yellow. It, it is right? sort of a pastel yeah. yellow, yeah. but uh, wood grain textures, tile textures, other, it, it's that haptic sense of the of the print. So, so this is not wood. This is not wood. This is, is all print. print. Yeah. yeah, that's all UV cured yeah. inks. And, and and you know, will you use that for flooring or is it just for uh, for showing uh, uh, the capability? You could or? do it for faux surfaces. Okay. Uh, you can use it for sampling purposes. Okay. So that we have, for like instance, it. there are companies that produce ceiling tiles that yeah. may want a wood grain ceiling look, but you can do it through panels. That could be used and like you can this. do it more inexpensively and very sustainably by printing it. Th these happen to be roofing shingles. Okay, nice. So we have clients that are rather than bringing actual asphalt shingles to the market for color and texture, uh, you can replicate it by using UV LED cured inks. the same technology yeah. and this is it's versatility yeah, yeah. I want to go from uh, you know drop ticks effects 3d lenticular effect on yeah. acrylic yeah. to faux surfaces to fine art reproduction to using inline varnish for drop gloss effects yeah. uh, and the substrate can be pretty much the extent of your imagination a lot of printers have the bulk of their revenue coming from certain traditional products they're producing, whether it's signage or maybe it's fine art. I mean, this but looks awesome, right? It, it does yeah. look awesome. Yeah. But we are seeing the, the I would say the, the printers who are growing and progressive, they're reaching new revenue opportunities. They're looking for new markets to enter. And our job is show them possibilities, then come alongside and then introduce them to some capabilities, maybe introduce them to some material providers, and try to help them generate that new new revenue. I, I mean, it's a personal philosophy of mine, but I think it's a, very much a, a part of the corporate culture of Swiss Coup Print, and that's... I mean, you are the top of we're, the we're here, so you should have something to well, say, right? May, may, <laughs> uh, may, maybe. They allow it every now and then. Yeah, okay. Um, but but printers, printers are amazing. I mean, they're resilient, they're creative, uh, they're, they're craftsmen. And if we can come alongside and really understand their heart and their business and the struggles and challenges that they're going through and help them manage through what they're working on, then you get that relationship. And I think it starts with you really do have to be curious and you have to care about their business. And then the, the printer piece will come along when it's the right solution for what they're trying to achieve. At the right time also. At the right time yeah. also. So you don't, you don't have to push for an order, you basically create a, let's say, a situation where, where, where it's, when, it's an, when it becomes an opportunity for both parties, then the magic sure. happens, right? Ideally, yeah, yes. Yeah. And, and that's true. I mean, when it's the right solution, normally you don't have to force that. You know, when you're in a right relationship and you connect with somebody, you don't have to say, we connect with each other. People just know it. Yeah, and I think that's, that's true, true in our relationships. Yeah, yeah. And if you talk to Swiss Coup Print customers, they will tell you that is people first. The way we support them from a service standpoint, an application standpoint, sales standpoint, we really try to put but customers uh... first. We get a global perspective yeah. with a local touch. Precisely. Yeah, and I yeah, think yeah. that's important. Wasn't that a good ending, no? Wonderful. Fantastic. Thank you very much, sir. Pleasure to see you. And you too. <laughs>